Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. We're in Sedenia. You might ask yourself why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because even though it's a small town, it's a very important town in the history of Poland. And not only in the history of Brandenburg and in fact in the history of Sweden. And over the next couple of episodes or so, we're going to look at this town and tell you about the origins of the Polish state and why this particular place is so important. First of all, it's close to the Oder River. Uh, in fact, uh, to get to the Oder River by car, we'd have to drive uh, quite, a, quite a, a ways away, about 20 kilometers to Osinov. But uh, near here, it's very hilly around here, by the way, um, there must be a, a way to get down to the river. I can't believe the citizens of Sedenia, Sedenia can't get there. At any rate, uh, Sedenia's history goes back to uh, well, well before uh, a thousand years ago. It was a Lusatian uh, settlement, Lusatians being the early people of this area, precursors to uh, the Polish uh, kingdom. Um, now, uh, uh, the uh, biggest event that happened here, the event that we can say put this place on the map, was in 972. And that was a great battle. We're going to talk more about that in a subsequent, uh, a subsequent uh, uh, in, uh, installment. But I'll tell you, uh, Mieszko was the first king of Poland, and he and his brother uh, engineered a great defeat over over the uh, uh, what you would call, I suppose, uh, Germans, Prussians, whatever, uh, Brandenburgers and uh, established that the Poland, Polish kingdom would last for a while, would, uh, would not be rubbed off the map, so to speak, which of course happened later, 800 years later. Now, um, 972, 972. Then we come and look at the building, come to looking at the building behind me, Cistercian Monastery. That solid building was, was started in the uh, 13th century. Right at the end of the 13th century, it was established as a nunnery. Later it became uh, a, mon uh, a regular monastery, always with a Cistercian history. And the Cistercians have a, have a long history throughout, throughout Poland, but particularly uh, uh, in this building. The other, uh, other many uh, important events happened uh, in this building because it was one of the uh, early and uh, solidly founded structures in the area and of course being a being a monastery it would have been uh, the scene of bread making and and uh, weaving and and uh, also uh, beer making no doubt okay so it was a it was also a, it was a cultural center and it was also a center of crafts now but you can't get away from the fact of where it's located on this rise of hills, this rise of hills uh, not far from the Oder River. Now, in 1631, it was such a good location that the king of Sweden, uh, and Sweden was invading Poland, made this his headquarters. So he could keep an eye on the, on the uh, Prussians, the German, Germanic people, and, uh, and also manage uh, what was going on in Poland at the time, which was basically the takeover of Poland, the destruction of many of its uh, churches, fortresses, and monuments, and uh, the looting of the country by the Swedes. So uh, the Swedes have a great reputation over the last hundred years or so, uh, but in the past, uh, uh, their Viking blood got the best of them on occasion. Now, um, as I was saying, um, the other thing about Sedenia, which is interesting, is it is the westernmost city in Poland. It's in Pomerania, on the western edge of the Pomeranian Lake District, the most westerly town in Poland. It's a small town, but nonetheless, that remains true. Watch the trailer. We'll come back just after the break.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the trailer, everybody. We're back uh, at the cloister here in Sidinia. It's 59 kilometers from Berlin. I was just reading this brochure here. Uh, we're closer to Berlin than we are to Szczechen, and that just goes to show uh, uh, how things can be surprising. Uh, Szczechen, of course, getting close to the Baltic, and uh, Berlin uh, getting further away from the Baltic, obviously. 40 miles from Berlin. So when you're over here, you're very close to the heart of Germany in the sense of its uh, capital. Uh, we're 80 kilometers from Gorzhov Wielkopolski, uh, and we're 70 kilometers from Osinov Dolny with the border crossing. So that's the best place to go. Uh, seven kilometers. I said it was a few kilometers, but not 20, it's just seven um, over there. Uh, just looking at their nice brochure here from the monastery and since there are it is a beautiful place and one of Poland's historic buildings I think it's worth reading a little bit what they have to say about it. Uh, it says the convent has overlooked uh, and I believe I said it, was, it had turned into a monastery I don't know that it ever did turn into a monastery I think it was a uh, uh, a comment until the Reformation and, uh, and then it was used as government offices, so it was never a monastery, it was always a cloister. Um, it, it's overlooked the picturesque hills of Sidonia for over 700 years. Um, well, that's back to the 1200s, 1266, in fact. Through the course of its history has witnessed many vicious battles, passionate romances, hmm. the poverty of inhabitants, of the inhabitants, the wealth of monarchs, and the descent of the church, and many other astonishing, astonishing stories. No doubt, it is a very historic uh, building. And as I said, in 1631, King Gustav of, of Sweden made this his, his uh, happy, happy headquarters. If you do want to stay here, the price for a room is 90, uh, 90 euros, and then for an apartment, it's 120 euros. So not bad, not bad. If it's an apartment, you can throw a whole bunch of people in there and some gypsies with a violin and, and have a lot of fun, in fact, probably. Uh, or maybe not. And it, this, the whole place was uh, renovated since 1997. It had fallen apart. It, uh, you know, some of these buildings, I say it all the time, but so many of these buildings... Uh, under communism were just left to fall apart. The communists uh, uh, were, were masters in, in destruction. Uh, and, 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 and maybe that's a lingering part of the Russian character, in fact. But uh, that's another story, a story that I'm sure you all hear about enough, and you don't need to hear it from me right now. So at any rate, we're in Sidenia. Thank you for watching. And more from this historic little town, the westernmost town in Poland tomorrow night. I'm Will Richardson in Sidonia.